Ewa Ghana Football Association Press Conference Room at Mr. Bizia Milo Van Ryback, but now say I was in his seat, you know, and the Ghana flag at the cool move, come, 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 uh, on the Oba Kumasia, Kodoko training grounds, one no. see, say, and number my and Hwanyas and Kotua, we are live at the conference room of Adakodati training complex. Why, Martin Union? Aha, and Tina asked him, Guana, Casa de Dro, as I took the co training grounds, conference room, multi purpose conference room, we are live. Why, Martin Union? Aha, in the two hours, I'm so. Aha, and the center of the media can find the Pelfina. I said, Ubiat, Nasset. And to be an obey, no, who say, Harrison, proper, prosper Harrison, I bear GF, dinner secretary, on the Sabbath, yes, and to be an answer, Henry Asante Chum, or the Nani doing some about the Chuga, the way forward, whereas Kate Simon the Crook, FE President, on the side in Akuna Kamakam, or the management committee of Blast Assassin, so the Dona Ewaha. And I Ghana football association technical director, Ura Bernard Lepet, also I did not come, 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 and the disorder in the building, please. Okay, so this is supposed to be the unveiling ceremony of the new coach of the Black Stars. You all come to the headquarters of the Ghana Football Association. Um, we will be very, very brief, and um, it's supposed to be a press conference, so it is a day for the media to ask as many questions and get the information that they are looking for. Once this is done, I am sure we will be more than satisfied. So, a little over a week ago, the Football Association announced the dismissal of our former coach, and then a search team was put in place, to advise the FA as regards the way forward. They were given 72 hours to get a coach. And here we are today to announce or unveil our new coach. So on the high table, we have the... On my extreme right is the Vice President of the Ghana Football Association, Mr. McAdo. Shall we please acknowledge him? Let me jump and come to my immediate right, who is the yeah. housekeeper and for that matter, the chief officer of the Football Association, the General Secretary, Prosper Harris Senado. <laughs> Next to him is the new coach of the Black Stars, Milovan Raivach. And then we have the president of the Ghana Football Association, Mr. Ketz Edwin Simeon Okrako. <laughs> so, the front row is occupied by the technical director of the Football Association, Bernard Lepet, <laughs> a member of the management committee of the Black Stars, Mr. Fred Papu. Executive Council member and also the chairman of the National Under 20 Team, the Black Satellites, Dr. Ransford Abbey. We also have the chairman of the Black Stars Management Committee, Mr. George Amwaku. A member of the Executive Council and also vice chairman of the Black Queens Management Committee, Kinsley Osei Bunsu. Okay, so let's proceed. At this moment, I will hand over the microphone to the General Secretary 
to give us an overview and tell us why we are here. Good afternoon and welcome to the Ghana Football Association. Well, for the purpose why we are here, let me just start on this note that on Monday, September 13th, the Executive Council, after studying the reports of the technical team, and the management committee of the Blasters took a decision to part ways with the former coach and the assistants. At the same meeting, a three-member committee of the executive council was formed, made up of the vice president, Mr. Mankado, Upper East Regional Football Association chairman, Alaji Salifu Zida Shaibu, and Dr. Ransford Abe, Executive Council member, to find a head coach and assistant coaches for the Blasters within the next 72 hours. The committee met their deadline, and so on Thursday, September 16, 2021, the committee submitted its report to the Ghana Football Association. Following the submission of the report, the GFA announced the next steps on its website. And the steps were as follows. First, that there will be internal alignment with relevant stakeholders. Decision will be taken thereafter by the Executive Council once the decision is taken, then the General Secretary can sign the contract uh, to be witnessed by the President as provided for in the GFA status. Then we we'll have the official announcement and unveiling. So the next steps of internal alignment has been done. Decision making by Executive Council has been done. The signing of the contract has been done, and here we are with the final leg, which is the official announcement and unveiling of the coach. So, at this stage, I will hand over to the president of the Ghana Football Association for us to listen to him on the official announcement and the unveiling and a few points as to the coaching direction of the Ghana Football Association and the various national teams. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Until I hear everybody's voice, I will not stop. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's much better. Okay, so we we already know why we are here. Um, I think that we've come to a very important part of the agenda that was uh, read to us by our General Secretary. We are here to speak about coaching and ultimately and ultimately to present to you our new trainers, especially for our senior most national team, the Black Stars. I think coaching 
It's a very key part of the football ecosystem. And the Executive Council of our Football Association do take coaching very, very seriously. For which reason, when we started this journey, we've taken certain steps to ensure that we enhance the coaching capacity of our coaches here in Ghana. We started this story with the engagement of a new technical director in the person of Bernard Lepe, and the establishment of a fully functional technical directorate that will be responsible for all our training needs for our coaches in this country. Bernard is supported by Professor Minta, and ever since they took office, they have taken steps to ensure that we add value to our coaches here in Ghana. Among other things, they've had an elite training for all our national team coaches. The session was led by the much respected German tactician, Ridmula. We've also started license D courses across the length and breadth of the country. We've started refresher courses for license A holders, license B holders, and license C holders across the country. And pretty soon, we're going to come back with a calf license A, calf license B, calf license C, so that people in the industry who'd want to pursue coaching will also have the opportunity to learn. Fast forward, we are here to talk about our black stars most importantly. The new Tenkar team would have a head coach with two assistants. Both assistants are Ghanaians. And as part of our strategic plan to continuously improve coaching or coaches in this country, the Tenkar Directorate has been mandated to select 15 coaches who belong to an elite group. And these 15 coaches will be offered the opportunity to add value to themselves by way of attachments across the borders of Ghana. It is a strategy that has the full blessing of the Minister of Youth and Sports. And together with the Minister of Youth and Sports, our coaches will be offered the opportunity to learn and to get more ideas and to add value to what they already have. And obviously, that will go a long way in helping not only our national teams, but our domestic clubs. It's a new strategy that will be pursued vigorously by the Tinker Directorate. And it will, it's part of the attempt of our full association to add value to our coaches in this country. Finally, we are here, and I think that the Football Association, through the hard work of the three months, Okay, so Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, i for home. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm 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 i i Oh, I friend, oh, oh, I say, I say, I try to And I'm time because I'm on forty with power. How I am, Matty, I'm not going to go to the conference room. Yeah, I'm not going to be alive. Ah, I'm not going to be alive. 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 I'm not going to be alive.
the finance of the account. Mm -hmm. That is my point. But my point is that GTV Sports Plus Air Fan Life. Yama of in Tisho or Cassana Bella Fan Life. Last in audio, no better will be at it. I mean, it was all Jack as I don't And I want to argue with Nazi. National television fan of life. I say no. Nazi. And I'm off. And I care to go to Casa. But the issue is GTV in your off. In TV, a Casa or Casa, I call it. So I'm going to go to GTV in your off. I'll be here. 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 i will be here i will be uh -huh. That he, he is the right man for us. And from the work of the subcommittee, from the work of the council, and our engagement with the Minister of Youth and Sports, we are happy that today Milova Ryback is here with us. He has all the experience, he's seen it before, he has been there. And we believe that with the right levels of support from the Football Association and from your good selves, he together with the rest of the Tinkerer team will be able to deliver exactly what we want. Coach Willovan will be assisted by two able people, two able coaches, who have also served Ghana at varied levels. And I'm happy to say that one of the two coaches is our own coach Maxwell Kunedu. I think that if you want to talk about people who have the right level of quality, the temperament, who has been there, and who have the right level of experience to assist Coach Milovan. Obviously, the committee and the FA will not look beyond Coach Maxwell Konedu. <laughs> we believe that with Maxwell, right by the side of Milovan, our black stars will go places. Next to Milovan, again, will be Coach Otto Ado, who is currently a coach of Borussia Dortmund in Germany. And having worked with Hamburg, having worked with Dortmund, having played for Hanover, and having worked previously in 2013 with Ghana, Coach Otto is well placed to again and also assist Coach Milovan to deliver the new agenda. So we will have a new technical team led by Coach Milovan, assisted by Coach Maxwell Kunedu and Coach Otto Adu. Of course, we already have Coach Richard Kingston, 
who is here with us. He retains his position as a good press trainer for the team. Coach Olele, as you affectionately call him, was with us at the Mondial in 2010. He's seen it all. And we have absolute belief in what he brings to the table. I'm very sure that you'll be more interested, or perhaps you'll be interested in other details of this engagement. And I'll allow our General Secretary to speak to a few issues before Coach Willowman will address everybody here. Thank you. Somebody, the GFP president, I can say we are out to say, well, that technical team in India and China, not just say, General Secretary, you see the in kind of average person. First one, we bear some of the parts in terms of terms of the contract so that we don't have. Um, speculations and in line with our uh, transparency we just want to give you a few of the facts okay. and I must say that this has been a, a very hard fought bargain and so even though normally we do not give the contractual details in terms of people's um, remuneration, we deem it appropriate to give some of the facts to our dear nation. Okay, so, so first of all, the tenor of the agreement is for a year, And if the coach is able to qualify us for the World Cup, the tenure automatically extends to the end of February 2023. Meaning he will go to the World Cup and also take us to the following AFCON, which will be played in January to February 2023. Again, you will recall that the coach, when he was here previously, was paid in euros. So we maintain, we were able to negotiate to maintain the same amount, but this time in dollars, making a good bargain for the association. So the figure is 30,000 US dollars instead of 30,000 euros in the past. Again, as we have it in all the other coaches contracts, The milestones and the that we want to be achieved includes not only improvement of our, our, our team, but qualification to the World Cup, which is very key for us, and of course, winning of the AFCON. And indeed, as we have it in all the previous contracts, if the coach is able to achieve by qualifying us to the World Cup, he stands to be entitled to 
a sum of 300,000 US dollars. Again, unlike the previous one where we had 375. Of course, winning the half con, which is dear to our hearts, the coach would also be entitled to the same amount. And all these amounts are in dollars and not euros. Also, we have a clause which talks about agency. I know it's something that comes up every time. This time we have it in the contract. It talks about no agents involved. So in these negotiations, the coach did not have any agent, and the football association also did not have any agents. I want to repeat that. <laughs> I'm laughing because Dr. Handiawi was saying that a three-man committee could have been the agent for the FA. <laughs> so that they are paid according to what. Again, let me repeat. There are no agents involved. There was no agent for the association and there was no agent for the coach. We went directly and dealt with the coach. This is important to us and it's also important to the coach. So together, we all insisted that it should be in the contract and it is in the contract. So linked to the agency is another clause which says that should a coach be found to be dealing with an agent or intermediary for players, it's a ground for termination and there are consequences. So it's also in the contract. So we are very clear about this particular topic. Again, I want to make it very clear that Unlike the previous contract, this time around, the coach will pay his own interpreter. So that's also very clear, which is also good for us. He will be part of the team, and so like every member of the team, if we travel with the, uh, he travels with the team, of course, same as every member who travels with the team, he will have a room and then he will work uh, as normal as uh, all the members of the team. I, I think I will end here by saying that all the other terms are the same um, as has been provided in other contracts. And we've worked very hard to ensure that um, we've reached this agreement, even though it was a tough bargain, and coaches and his lawyer are tough customers, but um, we have an agreement and uh, both parties have signed. And so we are extremely grateful that we could reach this agreement for us to be here today to unveil the coach. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, um, General Secretary. Before the coach speaks, let me just say that uh, Coach Millivan and his team arrived in Ghana on Sunday evening. On Sunday evening, um, obviously um, to continue with the with the process. In between time, he started to work. And I'm happy to say that Coach Milovan has in his custody video footages of all the 10 games that the Blasters have played. He's watched all the games. I think tonight he's watching the games from the U20 tournament. That tells us that he's already started working, even before today's event. 
taking note of the fact that we have two weeks to the all-important two duels against Zimbabwe. So coach arrived in Ghana on Sunday. Whilst he continued to engage, he started looking at footages from all the previous engagements by our Black Stars. And I'm sure that when we line up again against Zimbabwe and Cape Coast, our Black Stars will be ready. We are super happy that we found our man. We are very grateful that he agreed to come, even though the terms were not what he would expect. But one thing that he's always said is that he has, he feels he has unfinished business here with Ghana. And that is the biggest motivation for him and his team. And for who he is and for what he has achieved with Ghana, we firmly believe that this is not Matra Makwe. This is not Matra Makwe. This is not Matra Makwe. Because he's done it. He knows Ghana. He knows our culture. He knows our place. He knows our attitude. He knows our food. For which reason, we firmly believe that we have the right man in place, we have the right team in place to support him, in Maxwell Kunedu and Otto Ado, Richard Kenston and the rest. And with your undiluted support, we firmly believe that the team would achieve its desired target. I'm sure if I were to go around, everybody has an opinion as to who should be the coach of Ghana. Everybody here has an opinion. Everybody here would have a different opinion as to why Mr. A must be and why Mr. B must not be. But please, my appeal to everybody here is that we have a coach in place. A coach who is very experienced, a coach who knows our country, who knows our mentality, which is very, very crucial, and a coach who has the respect of our players, and a coach who controls that dressing room of Ghana. We shouldn't forget Kevin Barton was here, Sule Mutari was here, Michael Essien was here, Stephen Apia was here, Anthony Anna was here, Olele Kingston was here, they all played under him. They all shared that dressing room. We had no problems. So we know our dressing room is secured. That's a big step. So let's all give the new team the support they need. We all have our opinions. I keep saying this. I've had different levels of commentaries. Whether we should drink Milo or we should drink Soboro. <laughs> but we have Milo on the table. That's what we have to drink. Beyond this, we only have one Black Stars. Not two. So it's important we support the team. It's important we support the Tenkrat team to be able to achieve. Now that we have a new team in place, please, let's start thinking positive. Let's start thinking it can be done. Let's stop doubting the process. The new journey starts from today. Let's show positive energy towards the team. Oh, any, I'm talking to you, Benya. It's you I'm talking to. I hope you listened. <laughs> I took you by surprise. Let's be positive towards our black stars. It's all that we have. Let's not be quick in screening out negative stories because we think we have exclusives.
Now in Ghana, everything is breaking news. <laughs> Please, let's be supportive of our national team. If we do well, and if we qualify to the Mundial, all of us will enjoy from the multiple benefits that the Mundial comes with. Because I know everybody here wants to be in Qatar. That's why we have to change the language. Positive energy. Let's try to believe that it can be done. Whatever has happened yesterday is gone. If you look on the screen, these were the days when our blasters glowed. The days we thought we could even win the World Cup. Can you bring me the footage again? Lights off, please. The days we thought we could even win the World Cup, but for Suarez. These were the days we competed up to the grand finale of the AFCON. We were in the finals of the Chan. We won the U20 World Cup. We want to go back to those days. But before that, we need positive energy. Thank you very much. I think um, Coach will take his turn. I'm sure all of you are eager to listen to him. I'm sure some of you have loads of questions. I know Sadiq, is that Sadiq? You will have some good questions. Muftar will have some good questions. But let me say to Sadiq and Muftar, don't doubt the process. <laughs> don't laugh. Don't doubt. All of us here have opinions. All of us here have opinions. All of us here have opinions. You may be right in your opinion, but that, not, that may not be our opinion. That doesn't mean we are wrong. If we make it to the Mundial, Mostar, you want to be there. You'll be more motivated to go to the Mundial if we make it. Let's support the course. Thank you very much. Thank you, the media. I think that, uh, by and large, you've been very supportive. I mean, we can never be perfect. Criticism is allowed. But there are a lot of positive news around football in Ghana. Let's push the positive energy into the public space. Thank you very much. I love that flag. Thank you. Okay, so thank you very much, um, Mr. Ket Okaku, President of the Association. Also, I would like to call on Glissich Nenat to join us on the high table. <laughs> I just saw the... Okay, so I, I can see someone in Madro, a member of the Executive Council also, um, joining us. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the coach to address the cadre. Coach Milovan Raivac, over to you. <laughs> Tad sam vam obećao da ćemo dati sve od sebe da bi napravili uspjeh. Bili smo kao porodica i uspjeh je došao. I would like to say first that I'm very happy to be here. Uh, I remember the first time I came here 13 years ago. I promised that I would do anything in my power to that I would use my experience and knowledge take Ghana to the World Cup and I was the happiest man after we succeeded 
and I hope that we can achieve great things again. Uh, once again, I'm really ecstatic to be here and I appreciate the opportunity to be here among you and I'm looking forward to good cooperation with everybody here. I want to thank, thank the GFA for giving me this opportunity and people trusting in this idea. These videos bring great memories uh, and this was the biggest success of Ghanaian football and biggest success in my career. So I'm, I was very happy to share this success with you. And um, absolutely, uh, if uh, Suarez didn't uh, do what he did, uh, maybe we would have been the champions of the, of the world. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, da ćemo ponovo raditi, ali svi moramo zajedno ući u ove kvalifikacije, jer biti na svjetskom prvenstvu zna samo onaj koji je bio. Najveći, to je najveći korak i za sve nas. When you go to the World Cup, you realize this is the biggest achievement and this is the best about football. And when I said in the beginning of the last campaign that we all have to work together, uh, GFA, technical team, players, media and supporters. Last time we did it because we supported each other and we did it together, all of us. I believe we can try this time if we believe that we can achieve it and put all our resources for the same goal. Everything is possible and I strongly believe can deliver. Okay, so I say, Coach Miller, I mean, I mean, I me patch out. I made in some new mark with some mamma, my miss. No, uh huh. Answer, Coach Milo, do a badge no, a mamma yahoo, say a thirty thousand dollars. Me patch out, Coach Master, could not do. Dia ono so beji e ene otwado u se uti omo a otwado dia no asen hwa na ye omo a cho wa beboa into ono ajwa ni ki 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 sa obaji sai na afi maso kronu our own maso an so obaji sai me pa cho en se wa mi enu ehia pa u nya kwanya agbisa na ma wan ma ti mi nu a ek me di si juma na ma oka ma kama nti anu no dia sa me de meja mu na ma to adwuma de ni so achi ami ani ma se nana wani we wasu ma nti no en kai no ye be twa agwa homa so ye mfa nka me etie fo mtie ash 101.1 the second to nan minia osoko do aba ye kuma semani asante man titiu omo amwo eye adakwaja achi training complex conference room ana wa ye ye inu esie ni kaja ni aseda ye da ase me pa twa question ni mi o ne hia me pa ma remfi why Mirror, if you mean your eye, I said, I am Okay. And you know, you was so cool. My blast us, and blast us. Hey, because I'm going to be a Sembeba, Sembeba, Sembeba.